Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, we have created the compute instance. Now in this video, we will run a sample code on this compute instance. So let us go to Azure portal. First, we will explore the compute instances. Open in another tab. What is Azure Machine Learning Compute Instance? The Azure Machine Learning Compute Instance is managed cloud-based workstation for the data scientists. Each compute instance has only one owner. Although you can share files between the multiple compute instances. The compute instances make it easy to get started with the Azure Machine Learning development and provide management and enterprise readiness capabilities for the IT administrators. You have to use the compute instance as your fully configured and managed development environment in the cloud for machine learning. The compute instances can be used as a compute target for training and inferencing for development and testing purposes. And for the compute instance, Jupyter functionality to work ensure that web socket communication isn't disabled. Why to use the compute instance? These are the key benefits. Productivity. You can build and deploy models using integrated notebooks and following tools in the Azure Machine Learning Studio. These are the tools. Jupyter, Jupyter Lab and VS Code. This is the first benefit. Productivity. Then the managed and secure. The compute instance is managed and secure. Reduce your security footprint and add compliance with enterprise security requirements. These are the options for that. Auto provisioning from resource manager templates or Azure Machine Learning SDK. Azure role based access control. Virtual network support. Azure policy to disable SSH access. Azure policy to enforce creation in virtual network. Auto shutdown or auto restart based on the schedule. TLS 1.2 is enabled. So this is about the second benefit managed and secure. Then it is pre-configured for the machine learning. You can save the time on setup tasks with pre-configured and up-to-date machine learning packages, deep learning frameworks and GPU drivers. And it is fully customized. So these are the benefits of the compute instance. Productivity, managed and secure, pre-configured for machine learning and it is fully customizable. Let us run the sample code. To do that, go to notebooks, under the files, add files. Here I'll create the new file. Let us give the name test dot interactive python notebook this is the file location you can edit as well i'll go with the default then the file type notebook there are other options as well like python and r overwrite if already exists and create file created successfully you have to select the compute instance. I'll select this one, compute instance 26. As well as you can select the serverless Spark compute. Then you have to select the Python version. Python 3.10 SDK v2. Let us try to import the pandas. Import pandas as pd and execute. Pandas is imported successfully. That means it is already installed on this compute instance. Let us import another class from Azure ML dot core import workspace. So this package is also installed. Let us create an object of this class. First we are importing 
from azure ml.core import workspace here we are importing workspace note down w is in lower case we have to import this one workspace after that we are creating this object ws workspace dot gate here we have to specify the workspace name subscription id and the resource group let us specify the same click here the workspace name azure ml hyphen ws then the subscription id copy specify the subscription id and the resource group azure ml rg execute great ws dot gate default data store so here we are getting information about the default data store this is the name workspace blob store this is the container name this is the storage account name protocol and endpoint if you are not getting this one then don't worry here we are just running a sample code and from here you can download the file as well download it successfully so this video about running the sample code on the compute instance ends here and do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you